Hello, good, good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. It's such a joy and a pleasure to share today's gospel with you during this fifth week of Lent. I invite you with me and with your family, whoever you are with, to share this video and dive into the scriptures with me because the Lord has a special message for all of us today. And in today's gospel, we can reflect and maybe even see ourselves in one of the characters today in today's gospel. And this gospel reminds me of a time when I was a little bit younger and I had cut school with my friends. When it came to confronting my mom about it, I thought that she was going to be compassionate and not be so lenient. Uh, well, I thought she was going to be a little bit more lenient with my punishment because I had never seen her that angry before. And when I came to the office with all the teachers and the principal, I remember that my classmates had kind of thrown me under the bus and had said it was my idea. At that moment, I was very disappointed. I had thought that my mom maybe was going to defend me and, you know, kind of take my word and believe me. But my mom knew and she did the correct thing. She corrected me. And I remember my punishment that time was that she was going to take me to school and pick me up from school for the whole week. And I was so embarrassed during that week because I didn't want to be seen with her. And so in today's gospel, we see someone who got in trouble, who broke the law. And this woman was caught committing a sin, adultery. She was not loyal to herself. She was not loyal to the Lord and she broke a law. And we see in the scriptures how the teachers of the law, the Pharisees, uh, the scribes, they punished her, they, they, they wanted to punish her, they caught her in the act. And so they wanted to put Jesus to the test. There was a man named Jesus in that time who only talked about peace and love and forgiveness and mercy. And little did they know that Jesus was not going to say yes to violence. Little did they know that Jesus was going to be compassionate that Jesus was going to give her another opportunity. And so today, I want to remind you that our Father is someone who pays attention to the sinner rather than sin. The Lord loves us for who we are, but in the same way, He knows that our sin can lead us to destruction. And in today's gospel, I think we can learn how to better our relationship with God, how to have this time of Lent be an opportunity to completely forgive ourselves and receive God's forgiveness because the Lord invites us all to complete his perfect will. As he told um, the woman, he said, go and sin no more. That's what the Lord's perfect will for us is today, in 2022, in this special day. God invites us to follow his will, to understand that his will for us is to no longer be in sin, to no longer be under the shadow of darkness, and understand that sometimes our sin doesn't always show us who, who doesn't really identify, define who we are as a person. And at the end of the day, we can always rely on God, rely on his ocean of mercy and love. We already abide in his love. We already abide in his mercy because he has given us the grace to open our eyes another day. And that already is a miracle. That already is another sign of God's love for you and I. And Today, the Lord invites us all to ask the Holy Spirit to guide us in this Lent. I invite you to identify 
the sin or the bad habit that you might be committing that it's not just the first time. Maybe it's the third, the fifth, the hun the sixtieth length that maybe you've been trying to live, trying to break that sin of laziness, of procrastination, uh, sin of maybe committing adultery, just like the woman, whatever that sin may be. Let's ask the Holy Spirit today to break that and to understand and follow God's will. God's will is for us to sin no more and to abide completely in his mercy, to abide completely in his love and understand that he's merciful and he is just. And just like the Pharisees had said, there is a consequence to our sin, but by the same manner, God also tells us that although our sins may be as purple and as dark, he is willing to clean us and leave us as white as snow. And that no matter how far we are away from him, he will love us and he will take us in just as he took in this woman. And the Lord is so good to you and I that I think he deserves the best of us. The Lord wants us closer to him and confession is the very first step that you and I can take to go from our misery to his mercy and I invite you that in this Lent you deepen your relationship with God by taking that first step and seeking him in confession where he will give you those words of mercy and tell you go and sin no more